Time to talk winners and losers on Wall Street with financial expert Rob Black. Joining us this morning, Rob, on a day where I'm seeing green across the board. Uh, looks like the Dow's up by better than 100 points. We've got Dreamforce in town. Hopefully people are spending money. I'm seeing things to be happy about. How about you? Yes, except for it's Fed Day. It's a dread day. It's dad's coming home with a belt to punish us <laughs> by raising interest rates 75 basis points to fight inflation. He's not going to stop until inflation breaks down another 600 basis points, 6% lower to the 2% levels, not the 8% levels. So that's all going to happen today about 11 o'clock. Things will change. Watch the Treasury bonds. Mm. If they move from 3.5 to 3.6, 3.7, tough stock market. If we move from 3.5 to 3.4 to 3.3, easier stock market. Vladimir Putin is threatening nuclear war. That's not good. But like you mentioned, there are some positives. Mm. Uh, Dreamforce, Moscone pulled in $400 million this year, it looks like. Um, that's down from $1.1 billion in 2019, but it's way up from $20 million last year. Wow. I like tourism. I love our city. I want to see it thrive. And I really think Mark Benioff wants to see it thrive, too. He does a really, really nice job. Um, Kanye, Kanye, Yeezy might have got 500 people fired from the gap, believe it or not. That's good. If we're trying to fight inflation, you're trying to kill some job growth and create kind of a situ situation where people don't go out and spend their paycheck. I know it's counterintuitive. Yeah. I know it's not socially acceptable, but that's what we got today. Okay. Trying to find the, uh, the silver lining in there, I guess. I, I we had home numbers come out, uh, sales of yep. existing homes. I think it was off by, it was almost half a percentage point. Um, is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? How does this play out as we're trying to, you know, recover in this housing market? Well, the Fed, like I said, uh, wants to come home with a belt and spank the kids. And the kids that he wants to spank are homeowners and stock market participants, uh, 401ks. So we're starting to see some slowdown there. That should help the middle income, lower income get into homes in the American dream. You're seeing the slowest pace of sales since 2015, minus a pandemic month or two. You're seeing um, a 19% drop in sales activity year over year. The median home is up 7.7% in a year. That that's great, but it's down 6% in the last two months. Um, and the supply is still very limited, so we're not going to see prices drop aggressively. But I am starting to hear people say, maybe I should rent my home instead of sell it. Because last time we had a real estate correction, it took about 18, 24 months to really see prices bottom. And we're only two months into it at this point in time. Wow. Okay. Speaking of hitting rock bottom, do you feel bad for Mark Zuckerberg? He lost like $70 billion in, uh, in value. It's tough times on everybody, Rob. His stock's down over 50%, so the shareholders are losing billions of dollars too, but he is looking kind of poor. <laughs> like, um, <laughs> what was the, the show on Netflix? Why you look so poor? <laughs> um, he obviously fake Russian heiress or German heiress, but I'm digressing. Um, He's talking about the metaverse day, and every time he talks about the metaverse, he's talking about spending billions and billions and more money. And investors, I think they have to kick him out. The, mm. the board of directors have to say, shut up. You need to focus on profits and not on the metaverse at this point in time. Really? Gamers love the metaverse verse. Then he goes mainstream. He's saying people are using more exercise equipment in the metaverse. Okay. I watched my kids play with one of his headsets, and it just made me nervous. Like, are you going to fall over? Like, that's mm. a big thing on your head. New versions coming out, it's getting better and better. He's sinking billions into the future, and no one really trusts Facebook with their phone failures, with their video frame failures, with right. their call phone, uh, call video frame failures. No one really thinks Zuckerberg has a good hand on hardware like Apple does. Interesting. Okay. Uh, Rob, thank you. As always, we're going to chat with you again tomorrow. Uh, viewers, if you're out there and you have questions for Rob, let him know. Send him an email directly. He'll uh, be happy to read it. You can see his address there, rob at robblack.com, or you can reach out to him on Facebook and Twitter at the handles on your screen.